What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has put up a video. It has right now 13 likes. So it's titled What I Ate Today as a Girl Trying to Lose Weight and a Weigh-In. So I'm very perplexed about this video because if we're to believe the dates we were given in past videos, you had two days ago the water fast, which was not successful. And then today slash yesterday, we had a mukbang. So how far did we really get along with things if there's yet another what I ate in a day when in theory there would have been nothing prior to the mukbang that we should have been eating other than the breakfast that she said she had. And then this video here should join that breakfast, the mukbang, and whatever she was going to eat for dinner today, I guess. I, I don't know, but I'm hitting play. It's the original introduction. We've added vlogs back, so I'll question, what do we have, three days before a month on her couple's channel? There's some words here where she talks about failing the water fast because she's impulsive, but have no fear, smaller portions are here. She's going to keep track of calories now and hold herself accountable with these vlogs that are food diaries and daily weigh-ins. Interesting that... We're starting by showing out her window, someone that's so concerned about people knowing where she is. And I am letting you know right now, I am no longer showing her animal on this channel because I understand the only reason the animal is shown is to irritate people in her community. She is now stuffed up against the wall and talking about an accountability vlog. She's joking that she is the host. Which, you know, to be honest, Chantal, you were the center of this. You know, I would think that living in your world, you would look at your actual situation and realize there is nothing funny about it. She's obviously now coming out and saying she's not going to understand why anyone in any community gets a kick out of berating people who are struggling, especially with her and her weight. Because Chantal, you come out and you project all these things. She literally just said it's beside the point. Then why did you lead with the point a minute and 35 seconds into your video? You are the one coming out and making these commitments. You are the one not following through. So if you can't take accountability for that, how are you going to take accountability in these vlogs? She's reiterating that she was really sick drinking this water and it was just an incredible idea for her to stop and maybe down the line when she has more discipline and willpower maybe then she'll revisit the water fasting but right now just not a tangible option which i think everyone agreed it was a very poor planning very poor execution and extremely unsettling to see her decide that was going to be the only out she has every day to make better decisions and doing something like that is not a better decision and make no mistake she's made a ton of bad decisions to put herself in this position she is doing a weigh-in she says the last weigh-in was yesterday 169.1 kg today 168 okay i'm interested to see how she's going to project this 1.1 kilo loss immediately she says so as you can see I, I lost weight. I still lost weight. Chantal, you and Amberlynn have this issue of your body regulating water is weight loss. It's not weight loss. Weight loss is your clothes fit differently, not I woke up and I weigh less. You know, your body floats water all night. Now she's saying she fasted for 24 hours, which doesn't make any sense unless that would have been the date of the 16th, which would have been the day prior to her coming out and saying she was doing the 40 days of water fasting. So, Chantal, we all have calendars, and this doesn't make sense. She's also kind of saying, well, listen, this is less calories than I normally take. She's going to show us what she ate. We are three minutes and 40 seconds in. Okay, so we're going back over points about the diet plan. She's talking about this being a choice of what works for you and no one else's decision. She's going to try this. Okay, Chantal. It's not so drastic. Show us what you ate. She's going 
back in rehashing the points she just made. Chantal, you said a minute ago that you were going to show us what you ate. This is a big part of the problem. Are you embarrassed about what you ate? Do you not want to show us what you ate? Are you trying to hide what you ate? We are still going back over the same points. Chantal, she's talking about the little bit of weight she lost, and she hopes that it keeps going. These are points that don't need to be made. She hopes this keeps going, but it only starts with water weight, so at least it's something. Baby steps. Chantal, get to the point. She's going to go to the gym today, but her back is so bad, it sounds like an excuse, but it's not, because she knows that it is, so if she gets out in front of it, it won't be. She slept the whole day because she's so exhausted from doing nothing and eating. Five minutes and 20 seconds. Chantal, the point, please. Th this is how a elementary schooler gets up and talks about a presentation in front of a class when they don't want to speak publicly or they don't want to do it. It's just forcing through words, slow paced talking, reiteration of the same points, showing us what she ate, accountability, advertisement. Chantal, I, I, you have to help. I know you're watching. You have to help me understand. You've been doing this for years. Are you not sitting down with any type of cohesive thought process for storyboarding out a video? Point, 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 video clip, segment, video clip, segment. What are you doing? Because from the outside looking in, it's you rambling into a camera until you think that you've reached a time where you can turn a video into monetization. And we all see this now. There's enough monetized channels in this community that we all know what you're doing. So when you sit here and you repeat yourself for the better part of six minutes with things that we already know, things you've already said, or things that aren't prevalent to the video, the title of this video is What I Ate Today. Yet why are we five minutes and 45 seconds in? I'm watching your ads because as a creator, I appreciate your income ability with this platform, but get to your points. She's talking about incorporating exercises, but she knows best with everything. Here we go. Focusing on housework. Talking about how housework is easy for normal people, right? But if she doesn't get called normal by someone else, she gets upset. What housework are we talking about, Chantal? Please. We are still rambling. This is why she has lost so many viewers. Vigorous housework? What does that mean? She just said, vigorous housework is like a workout. Yeah, because when I go to the gym, when you go to the gym, right by the Smith machines, th there's a dusting area. R right, right by the treadmills and the ellipticals, uh, there's a, a sweeping station. We all know when you watch the Olympics, the best part of it is the power sweeping, the power dusting. We all sit there in awe about how someone can sweep so sternly and vigorously and dust areas so quickly. Sala has came into the room. Chantal, cleaning your home is not exercise. It may be remedial calories that you're burning. It may be good for you to be up and moving. It may be positive for you to see changes in and around you. But when you're sitting here and saying, cleaning the house is now exercise, that is why there's a problem. And I will offer seven minutes and 30 seconds into this video. We have still not touched the topic. We are going right back to where we were three minutes ago about the treatments for the condition she has and how expensive they were. And back when she was in Canada, Chantal, the past is the past. The future, you still have some control over. Okay, but you don't have much future left at this rate. So why are you even concerned with what happened in Canada? Where you are now, where you are going, and what you need to achieve needs to be your sole focus. Literally sitting here and talking about having procedures done for this.
And she says that because you have to lose weight to get them, it always feels like you're hitting a wall. You know, this is so frustrating. I honestly feel like this in and of itself was supposed to be a video and we've tacked on B-roll footage to the end to make it 13 minutes. She needs support groups now. She needs alternative things now. Things that are within their budget. Well, your budget is about to be diminished with content like this, Chantal. The rambling has to stop. It has to. No one is going to sit here and watch someone mumble into a camera about what's apparent. We understand your size. We've seen you for years. We understand what you need to do to lose weight. And so do you. So you reciting it to yourself every day changes nothing. Take all this energy. Take these last... How long has it been? Nine minutes and 11 seconds. How apropos. Take this and get on that treadmill. Walk through this content if you really want to. I guarantee you, if you have to be on an elliptical to do this video, you're cutting this out in three minutes. She's now sitting here and comparing this to other people's issues and different problems, which she should not be doing. Every problem is unique. This is so just... And the fact that Sala is in the room while this is happening. I have another advertisement... She's talking about all the issues she has with poor food. and She even says, I've said all this diet banter so many times, but I'm just trying to find my way. And it's frustrating. Yeah, Chantal, it is. The last 9 minutes and 50 seconds have been frustrating. And you're still rambling. She's talking about how her, Amber Lynn, and I don't know who the third person would be now because that person's no longer here because they succumb to these things. And she's talking about how everyone hides. It's FFG banter. FFG banter, Chantal. Show what you ate. Oh, she's referring to HFC. She's saying at least they have the balls to show themselves and to show the struggles and to take the criticism because that's more she can more than she can say for most of us in this community and the critiquing community and the reaction channels and Chantal, take your hatred for me. Take your hatred for me and change your life with it. Put this video on and go on the elliptical and, and push through the wall with my voice if you want. Okay, because that's what I want for you, right? I'm dependent on you for content. I'm dependent on you for income, so I need you to outlive me, right? So let's try to channel all this and get to the point of our videos. We are now at the 11 minute mark. 11 minute mark. And we're turning this into a reaction channel rant, Chantel. You're, this is what you're watching. You're watching other channels talk about you while you are literally in one of the most grave situations we've ever seen. Is, is that what you don't want to confront? You don't want to confront the reality of your situation, so you just laugh it off the reaction channels? Okay, you do that. Let's get to what we ate today. 11 minutes, 32 seconds. She's going to talk about it. Okay, 11 minutes and 35 seconds into this video. Breakfast was grapes, cheese, what is this, eggs? We're just literally having her narrowed over B-roll footage. We have looked at grapes now. Chantal, no one believes that you're eating grapes and eggs all day. I don't know what the other thing is, and she hasn't said what it is. 12-minute mark. We just got to what she ate. She's just now describing it. And now, all of a sudden, this is for the two of them, not just for her. I don't even... I still don't know what the other thing was. It looked like cheese curds. Oh, cantaloupe. Okay. So one hard-boiled egg, cantaloupe, tahini, grapes, one, one potato. So that was the potato that we saw. Okay. For lunch, she had the mukbang. Okay. So what, what could we possibly have ate beyond that? She's now promoting the mukbang. There was no, I don't believe, lettuce on the sandwich, so you mix that up. She's describing the food in great detail. 
and the dessert. So as I said in my video, that in and of itself could have been an entire day's meal. And now we're getting to dinner. Is this takeout? She literally just edited into a voiceover. Yeah, they had takeout, which you have no control over what this is. So you had fries, a wrap, is that chicken? Added a few extra things. Yeah, th th this is where you, <laughs> this is where you run into problems. You are so far beyond adding in extra things. And that's all she's going to eat for today. And she's I can't see it, but she's created a, a calorie count. I literally can't see it. It looks like it might say 3650. She's doing this content for the people who believe in her and the people that are trying. Great, Chantel. You want to own those words? Turn the ads off on these videos if you're really doing it for somebody else other than yourself. She's going to see us tomorrow with another weigh-in and another fabrication about what she ate. Jeez, I can't wait. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Hopefully, I'm not too frustrated, but I will say, as a creator, it is very disappointing to see someone work so hard to drag out a video to bombard you with ads and not work nearly as hard on the issue they have affecting their actual life expectancy. Appreciate you watching this. I will be back as soon as I can with more content.